What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2020 Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider. Huge shout out and thank you to Audi Greenville for providing this Audi R8 for today's video. Definitely check out the link to their website down in the description below. They have a huge selection of all the brand new Audis, so check them out. So anyways, let's get into the Audi R8. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in Suzuka gray metallic and has an MSRP at $226,000. Powering the Audi R8 is a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated 10 cylinder engine. This is a mid-engine vehicle with quattro all-wheel drive system. The engine cranks out 611 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque with a max redline over 8,000 RPM. And with a curb weight around 3,900 pounds and a fuel capacity at 19.3 gallons, you're looking at 13 miles per gallon in the city and 20 out on the highway. And with a seven-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch transmission, you're looking at zero to 60 at 3.3 seconds with a top speed over 204 miles an hour. The overall length is 174.3 inches with a wheelbase at 104.4. The height is 49 inches with a width at 76.4. And being the V10 Performance, this features a set of carbon ceramic disc brakes in all four corners. They are ventilated and drilled. We get a 15 inch rotor up front with a 14 inch rotor in the rear and six piston brake calipers up front and four pistons in the rear. The 2020 Audi R8 is the facelifted version of the second generation R8. We have an extremely aggressive front end with a massive opening for the grille. You also have openings on the farthest sides of the front bumper to allow maximum cooling to all the front mounted radiators. And then there's a sharp fin on each side finished off in body colored to really give it that wide appearance. We have aggressive designs all around with a carbon fiber front splitter and then three trim pieces above the grille. We get a blacked out Audi logo and R8 logo and four parking sensors all within the front bumper. This features LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. They give it a really wide appearance and really add to the front end style. And then moving to this front bonnet lid, it's very sleek. It's a clamshell design spanning all the way from one wheel to the next. There's a sharp body line on each side to really give this the aggression and then rounded at the ends to go over the wheel arches to really help give this an amazing front end design. And then as we make our way to the side profile of the R8 Spider, you can even see the front bumper from the side, just gives it that extremely aggressive design. This has a beautiful set of two-tone wheels finished off in a gunmetal gray and polished silver. They measure 20 inches all around and they're wrapped in a Michelin Pilot 4S tire and offer a great contrast against the white paintwork, carbon fiber trim, and these gunmetal gray brake calipers. We also get a blacked out V10 badge on the side portion of the clamshell and then carbon fiber mirror caps and carbon fiber side vent covers as well as carbon fiber along the side skirt. There's a really sleek body line going from the front fender all the way through the doors. You can see the hidden door handles and it flows its way to the top portion of the side vents and then we have an aluminum color for the gas cap. And then along the deck lid you can see carbon fiber and gloss black trim around these functional heat extraction vents. They have a really aggressive design to them. I love how it ties into the flow and design of the overall car. You can also see the contours to them. They kind of lead up to the backside of the headrest. And then moving to the rear end of the Audi R8 you can see just how low and wide it is. It has a really nice design. We get a carbon fiber lip spoiler that has a really cool look to it. Blacked out Audi logo and R8 logo on the left side and then LED taillights all finished off in red. We have a lot of mesh in the back here to let a lot of the heat escape this massive 10 cylinder engine. And then moving down low, we have a gloss black diffuser with fins in it. And then on the farthest side, we have the dual exhaust system finished off with black tips and carbon fiber bezel all around them. And then wrapping it up with four parking sensors in the rear with the backup camera. So there's a good look at the exterior as well as some of the performance specifications of the Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider. This is a beautiful spec. The exterior color looks amazing. All the carbon fiber, the wheels, we're gonna get into the interior in just a second. But comment down below, what do you guys think of this R8? I think it is absolutely stunning. And then with the key fob, we can go ahead and take a look at the interior. We can grab this door handle, open up the door, and take a look at this pastel silver leather interior. Beautiful color contrast with the black leather as well, all the stitching and carbon fiber. If we go ahead and start up with the door panel, it's all finished off in black leather with the silver leather as well. You can see we got some padding on it, color contrast stitching, your grab handle up top with some storage. We have all your window and mirror controls as well as the front trunk opening. We have a nice stitch piece here with a carbon fiber trim around the air vent and then more leather and part of the Bang & Olufsen audio. We have the R8 logo on this carbon fiber door sill which has a really nice look to it. 
Then as we make our way inside, we have all the power controls for the seat right on the side. You can get a really good look at the bolstering and all the diamond stitching. This has a beautiful look to the interior. Stitching runs all the way up top. We have perforated leather along the headrest, part of the Bang & Olufsen audio system through them, which is a really cool feature. And then flipping around to the interior, we have a full perforated leather steering wheel with a flat bottom design and silver accents. And then now inside the car, keep my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. engine running we can go ahead and close up the power folding soft top. The roof only takes a few seconds to open and close and you can see how the deck lid will open up, the soft top comes out, and then once it's latched and the deck lid closes the windows will even roll all the way up. And with the roof up you can see how everything is laid out, it has a really nice design to it, it operates with ease. And if we take a look at this full digital display for the gauge cluster, we have a large tack right in the center with torque and power gauges over on the right side and your fuel. And then on the left side we have a G meter. Using these buttons right here we can control what we see in the screen. We can go through a few different settings within it. And then using the buttons on this left side of the screen, you can go back once and go into a different screen. You can see how everything changes. Scrolling down, you can go into many different items and settings within the vehicle. Really nice way everything is set up. You can go under many different things, which is great to see as well as your settings and your gauges do go on the left and right sides. Also along the steering wheel, we have a drive select mode. If we tap this, we can go into different driving modes. We have an individual mode, comfort mode, auto, and then dynamic. And then once we're in dynamic, the engine gets a little bit louder and revs higher because the active exhaust is on. And on the right side of the steering wheel, we have the engine start stop button as well as the active exhaust. If we tap this once, the engine gets a little bit louder, much louder than normal. Pressing this again, it goes back to the standard engine mode. Beautiful steering wheel with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, cruise control on this bottom stock. And then we have all your headlight controls on the left side of the steering wheel with more leather all around the gauges. You can see the carbon fiber covering everything with more black leather. Beautiful design to it. I love all the leather and stitching. You get a Quattro logo over on the right side and more carbon fiber. And then right in the center, we have a carbon fiber trim piece around these air vents. All of your climate controls are right here with your heated seats. They have a really cool design with an LCD screen. You can change your fan speed as well as the temperature. Really nice looking. You can tap this for auto as well as tapping this for research. And then below those, we have the off button right in the center, defrost on left and right. Down in the center here, if we push this forward, we have a little bit of storage space, wireless phone charging, a 12 volt, and some USBs. And then pushing that closed, you can see the beautiful leather to it, parking sensors and traction control, as well as the hazards. And then right in the center, we have your gear selector, finished off with more leather to match. Park button is on the back side. All of your drive modes are right here. Volume button is also right here with a little storage spot for the key fob. And then with the shifter, if I put my foot on the brake and unlock it, we can go right into drive. That'll put you into the normal drive mode. If you want to shift to manual mode, you can bump the shifter over and use the paddle shifters or use the stock down here. And then back into normal, we'll go all the way up into reverse. The backup camera comes up right in the center. We have guidelines as well. All the parking sensors are going to be active as well, which is a great feature. And then pushing it once for park. And then in the center here, we have a lot of the controls for the infotainment. You have a menu button and back button. And that does all the controls that you're going to see right in the screen that I already did on the steering wheel. You can use the rotary dial to go into everything and it's really nice how everything works. You also have some shortcut toggles on each corner. And then we have your park and brake, convertible top, as well as the air dam. And then in the center, we have more of this light leather, which has a beautiful look to it, really good armrest. If we tap this button on the side, this lid will open up, and we have two cup holders, which is a great touch for a mid-engine supercar. And then going over to this right side, we have a glove box. We can open this up, all lined with leather. We have a ton of space in here, which is great to see. And then just an overall look at this interior. Audi R8 is absolutely stunning. I love all the color contrast to it. These beautiful seats and everything, all the stitching and leather, extremely high-end vehicle. And then everything looks very modern and up-to-date. And even looking over my right shoulder, this is a lockable glove box. We can open this up. 
We have a little bit of storage in here as well, which is a great touch. And then to take a look at the engine compartment, there's an electronic latch behind the driver's seat. You just lift this button up, it'll automatically unlatch it, and you can grab it and open it up. You can see the air box is right there. Not too much being the Spider comparing it to the coupe, but still a nice touch. And then if we go back to the door and press this button right here, it'll electronically open up the front. And then right underneath the Audi logo, there's gonna be a latch you're gonna grab, lift it up and grab the handle, and we can take a look at the front storage space. The Audi R8 actually is pretty usable. It's pretty deep in here, and it's very wide, so you can fit a few backpacks, duffel bags, and a little bit of storage. So for a mid-engine supercar, it's extremely practical. All right, so we are now in the Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider. It's fired up. <laughs> That makes an insane sound. Same V10 you get in the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. So if I pull this back, it is a beautiful day. It's like 55 out and sunny, great top-down weather. I love how everything works, and you can be moving. If I go ahead and put it into drive, you can be driving while operating this, probably around 20, 30 miles an hour, but I like the convenience of that. <laughs> All right, so we are setting off now in the RA. Everything is closed. This car will be a lot of fun with the top-down experience. So drive select, we will go into comfort mode. So this is just normal, basic, the most conservative mode possible. So then getting up to speed now, just the basic mode. It's very smooth, like I said, we're getting up some normal speeds. The wind is not too bad. You can feel it above your head, but it's still really like comfortable feeling in here. I love oh, the sun on my face, everything. <laughs> This is quite nice. I really love the R8. So we're gonna put it into the sport mode and make sure we're in manual. Drive select, we'll go into dynamic mode and then I'll go ahead and downshift a few times. We'll get a good listen to that exhaust. <laughs> wow, that... Man, that engine sounds insane. Hopefully you can hear me well with the wind. acceleration feel the car being the spider it's a little bit tighter in here than the coupe model i can't really put the seat all the way far back the way i'd like it there is some headroom but your knees are a little bit sacrificing i'm five foot eleven so this car is definitely made for people under six feet um, i can fit in it pretty fine can't quite get it perfect like the coupe so for me i'd go with the coupe just because i'm just a hair too tall i think for this but nonetheless Make sure that automatically does do the louder exhaust, which is a must. <laughs> so 
So a feel out and acceleration with just everything up the way it is, and then we'll put the back window down to see the difference. Because that's a cool thing with the convertible, you have that ability to put that back window up. <laughs> nice sharp turn. I love how pinpointy this car feels. acceleration up to 40 miles an hour to the speed limit but definitely super awesome wow amazing car so anyways huge shout out and thank you to audi greenville for providing this audi r8 for today's video check out their website they have a huge selection of amazing brand new audis ready to go so definitely check them out and then i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button stay tuned for plenty more content to come and i'll see you guys next video Thank you.